actually started in the early 90s and um, it is a result of a, a large uh, construction project where they were using a thing called Internet of Things. And we took the idea and we um, thought we could run a short course. We thought we could run that course all over Australia and we were horrified to find out that we had huge numbers. I mean, the first course we ran in Perth, we had about uh, 80 people front up and we only had a place for 20. It was extremely successful. We ran it all around Australia. After Steve had attended Curtin and UWA to ensure he had uh, the e-learning knowledge. So he did his PhD and got uh, a thesis out on e-learning, which was which which underpinned uh, the direction that we took. Edwina put the uh, whole model together, and we had another um, lady who took my scribblings and put them into a advanced diploma, which was very successful from the word go. I think. Uh, what was a problem was in the early 2000, 2008, there was a huge change from classroom-based courses to online, the online model. And basically the classroom courses failed. So all of a sudden we had a, a business model wanting to teach people at different locations around the world and it couldn't work because people weren't going on classroom courses anymore. They said, no, we don't do that anymore. So really we had a big problem with a frozen model, business model, which couldn't pay the bills and that was our biggest challenge. I th I'd like to add that Steve is always very cautious as well. He takes risks but is very cautious financially, by ensuring all the time that there's financial viability. So that, is, that has helped, I think. Look, if you're frugal, you can reduce the fees to the students on the courses, keep them as low as possible and make the business sustainable. Basically being able to reach people in 160 countries and have students accept the qualifications, employers accept the qualifications, to me that's probably on the ground the best achievement we can have. Students that graduate as engineers and when we do road shows having them show us the projects they're doing all over the world. To me, that is the best achievement and having them getting good jobs, improving their jobs, doing the designs because of our high quality teaching and our education. To me, that's the best achievement. Basically, I think Edwina and I are passionate about um, reaching people all over the world, particularly countries which don't have the opportunities we have in Australia, and being able to provide them with a Australian quality education and practical education, no matter where you are in the world, to me that is what we really want to achieve, and that gives me a huge um, satisfaction. I must say for me that the delight has been and the passion has remained because students come back and tell us how it has it has boosted careers and and helped them within their communities and for me there's probably not a better industry to be in than one where we can improve people's lives well, first of all we want to try and make all our education as job focused practical as possible obviously it's got to have high level content in it, cognitive content, it's got to be useful, design, whatever, but it's got to be a practical outcome, that is really important. And I visualise EIT as not only training or educating students from all over the world, and I'd like to see it as wide as possible, but I also visualise EIT as being a benefit to the staff, the instructors in the company as well, so you also want them to be skilled up as well. I visualise ourselves as continuing to grow the online model uh, with thousands of students um, all over the world um, and we are working through the regulatory um, authorities in the UK and the States and, and South Africa so we hope that we'll get 
um, some form of accreditation there for our degrees uh, in, in due course. And we also want to grow our um, micro-credentials, which are short professional courses, which I think in the future are extremely powerful for people for continuing education. And also see our remote lab's ability to log in with your phone or hopefully with a computer or a screen and actually do their, continue to do the experiments online. I hope that will develop even further. We are passionate about engineering education wherever you are in the world. So that's probably going to be the driver. So um, the first spot um, where the business was, should we say, conceived, it was amazing. It was a tiny little 150 year old house or villa or cottage terrace house and we operated out of there for four or five years. Um, we eventually couldn't fit everyone in, but it was, we were actually expanded so fast in the first two, three years. We had instructors, we had about 50, 80 instructors flying out from Perth all over the world. I always remember walking up the street in front of our tiny little office and saw the state manager for Qantas in front looking puzzledly for the building because he'd been sent to find us because we were spending so much money on flying equipment and instructors all over the world that he wanted to come and meet the uh, company and he was horrified when he found out it was just a little shack on a, in the middle of West Perth. But anyway, that is where we started and um, it was a happy little spot and um, we then have grown slowly over the years into other locations. If you can improve one person's life with good engineering education, to me that's, that's it, that's mission achieved I think.